Hello everyone, my name is Christian Singh and I'm an accountant. Today I'm going to share a little bit more about me and what I do as an accountant. So a few things about me, I was raised in Spencer, Oklahoma. So that's a rural area near Oklahoma City. A lot of fun things to do in Spencer, Oklahoma, whether it be rodeos or you know, riding four-wheelers or riding dirt bikes or going fishing. It's just a lot of things to do for the country kids out there to hopefully stay out of trouble. Uh, I went to two different high schools. So when I was a freshman, I went to one near Spencer and I played football there. But after that, I transferred to a more academic-based school and they did not have a football team. So the dream went with that. Uh, after I graduated, I went to Oklahoma State University. I majored in management information systems. And that doesn't have much to do with accounting, but hey, we'll get there. We'll figure it out. You, you, you'll learn pretty soon that things change and you just kind of have to adapt to those changes. I really love math and numbers because the more you can count, and the better you are at math, typically you're more organized, which allows you to be more successful in life, whatever that may mean to you. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about why I wanted to go into accounting. Well, a lot of times when you're in school, you are very indecisive you, you can't really figure out that next step after school and it's it's something that's very hard for a lot of people you know trying to decide what do you want your career path to be but you can understand that the best thing I think to do when choosing your career path is really trying to learn who you you are you know doing activities that you like whether that be reading sports you know Different things like that, activities like that are science-based, activities that are history-based, activities that are people-based, you know. Really try to explore what things you like and try to develop the things that you like. And after you do that, it'll take you down a pathway where you can learn different areas where you can work doing things you like. For example, if you like basketball, you don't always have to be just a player. You could be a trainer for basketball. You could be a referee. You could be a coach. You could be a physical therapist, someone that helps other basketball players, you know, heal up after they've been injured. You could be someone that promotes basketball, you know, gets people to come to the games and gets people, more fans engaged. There's a lot of different career paths when choosing something you like. And you typically have a lot more passion in those things. For me, accounting was a way for me to be financially stable. I am a person that wants to own my own businesses and work for myself. And if I can be on a company and be accountable, which is what accounting is, meaning the person that's accountable for the money, then I knew I could do that for my own business. So accounting, in a sense, wasn't my total passion. But it was a stepping stone and is a stepping stone to get where I want to be in life. So for you, like I said, questioning your passion, just try to figure out the things you like and expand on that. A lot of people talk about dreams and ideas, right? but you have to be engaged. You have to write those ideas down. Thoughts turn into words. Words turn into actions. Actions turn into lifestyles. So start writing those thoughts down and come up with some actions that can lead you to the lifestyle that you want. Okay, so what is accounting? It's often called the language of business because typically when you get to the most granular things about business, people want to see what you're making versus what you're spending. And accounting keeps the balance between these two. That way you can create budgets to know how much you need to spend next month and the month after that and the year after that. And you can know when you need to cut back. So if I have $10 a day, but I'm spending on average 8 to $9 a day, it might be time for me to cut back a little bit because I'm going almost over my limit. So the importance of budgeting is something everyone should learn. 
It's not about what you make. It's about what you save. And that's in all aspects. If you get allowance, if you have a job, always be trying to save. Because when you spend, it's gone. But when you save, you're able to build that amount up and you can use it for another day for something that's really important. So there are a few ways to become an accountant. I'm going to take you down the path I chose. Whenever I was in school, I went ahead and went to college at Oklahoma State University. And after that, when I was looking for a job, I realized that since I had my degree, that I qualified to be in a cost accountant for the position I took that I'm currently working at now. But that's not always the case. Sometimes companies want you to get your degree in accounting, managerial or financial accounting. Also, a lot of times to be an accountant for companies, you have to get a CPA license, which is a certified professional accountant. You don't actually have to go to college to, be, to get your CPA. It's a, typically a one to two year program to get your CPA license. And after that, you can hit the ball rolling as an accountant. The fun thing for me when going into what I, the path I chose, was college. A lot of things that you learn in college, you can't just learn when you get out there and, and get your, you know, your license. College is a place where you can build who you are, learn more about yourself, learn more about the world around you, different people, different cultures, network to have better opportunities. So that's what I think was the most fun part of me leading to my career path is getting to college and being able to explore who I am and try to train myself to be the best I could be. One of the most challenging things probably was getting through the classes. Accounting by no means is easy. It is very tedious and it's time consuming and you have to maintain focus. When you're dealing with numbers, one mistake could send your whole your whole sheet wrong. Your whole additions or subtractions could be off. Your whole calculations could be wrong by one missed number. So you have to maintain a constant focus if you want to be an accountant. If you want to be a good one where they'll come back and use you. So that's one of the hard things is just, you know, getting through those classes, maintaining your focus, understanding when it's time to work and when it's time to play. That's one of those most valuable things you have is learning when to turn off the plane and turn on your brain to be focused. And like I said, I can show you the bachelor's degree was first step. Obtain a CPA is typically the second step. And when you have these things, you can find a job. They are always looking for people that are accountants. People always want their money counted up the right way. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed all I had to talk about, and I hope maybe one of you guys want to be an accountant now. I would understand why. This great presentation I gave. <laughs> so we're going to do a challenge. Um, why don't you guys try to create a monthly budget? Write down all your monthly expenses for food, shelter, clothing, toys, games, anything else that you need to live. Next, determine how much money you need to earn and save for future purchases, such as a car, college, or house. So. You look at how much you are, your expenses are every month, add that up for a year, total it out to 18, see how much that is, and go tell your parents thank you because they're pretty sure that they're the ones paying all that stuff right now. So just think about that. You know, everybody, Somebody has to be accountable for the money. Right now, you don't have to do it because you might have parents, but one day you're going to have to be accountable for all your expenses. And that's the whole point of getting a job is so you can cover those expenses and also have a little bit of money on the, other, on the other side to do some things you like, like have a car and a nice house. So the earlier you start thinking about these things, the better. Hope you guys have a great day and I hope you enjoyed the presentation.